Our topic today is binary operation. Now, what is a binary operation? A binary operation, let's say star on a non-empty set R of real numbers, is a rule which combines two elements, let's say X, Y, a member of a particular set S, to produce a new element which may or not be in the set S. And that is over here. So we are saying that a binary operation star on a non-empty set R of real numbers is a rule which combines so it's a rule and what does this rule do combines two elements so important combine two elements say x y a member of a particular set s to produce a new element which may or not be in the set s now we can represent binary operations by the following symbol star um, delta not and then um, zero we have zero and then we have multiplication sign in it and then you have zero addition sign in it and so on a whole lot of them now let's consider the first example now let's see this example a binary operation star on the set of real numbers defined by a star b equal to a plus b minus three so this is the rule which has been given to us a plus b minus three now we have been asked to evaluate i2 star three so let's see first we need to put the rule down first that's the first thing that we are supposed to do so our rule is a star b and this rule is a plus b minus 3 that is the rule now our first one is 2 star 3 so in this case our a is 2 and then our b is 3 so let's substitute wherever you see 2 a you put 2 over there wherever you see b you put 3 over there so this and this will cancel out and we just have 2 that is so easy that's so trivial now let's see the second one. We have one, star two, star three. Now from the definition of binary operations, now we take what? Two elements, we combine, the rule combines two elements at a time. So here these two elements, the one in, bra in the bracket, that's one star two. We have to consider that one first because a rule which combines two elements, two elements. So let's consider one star two. In this case, our a is 1 and then our b is 2. So this is what 1 plus 2 minus 3 from the rule a plus b minus 3. Now what is 1 plus 2? That's 3. 3 minus 3 and this is just 0. So this is equal to 0. But what do we want to find? 1 star 2 star 3. We want to find 1 star 2 star 3. Now, what is 1 star 2? 1 star 2, that is 0. And then we have star 3. Binary operation, a rule which combines two elements at a time. Two elements. So here, using the rule, that is A plus B minus 3. So 0 plus 3 minus 3. And this is just equal to 0. So trivia. Now, let's see the third one. We have 4 star 3 star 2 binary operation a rule which combines two elements two elements so first let's take the one in bracket first that is 3 star 2 so our 3 star 2 and we know the rule is what a plus b minus 3 our a is 3 our b is 2 clearly 3 will three cancel 3 so our answer is 2 our answer is 2 but then what do we want that is 4 star 3 star 2. Now in place of 3 star 2, we have 3 star 2 to be equal to 2. So that one is just equal to 2. Now using the rule, using the rule, the rule given to us is A plus B minus 3. So that's the rule. Our A is 4, our B is 2. So A plus B minus 3. Now what is 4 plus 2? 6. 6 minus 3. This is just giving us 3. Very, very easy. Binary operation is a rule which combines two elements, let's say x, y, a member of a particular set s, to produce a new element which may or not be in the set s. If considered an example, I guess in the books on the screen, make sure you get a copy for yourself. It will give you a very firm foundation in mathematics. Don't forget, no pain, no gain. Now let's consider this example. 
If a over b operator c over d equal to the rule given to us is a plus a over b d. So our a so clearly is what addition of the numerators and then multiplication of the denominator. So first let's put the rule down. So a over b and then this is the operation c over d equal to a plus c all over b d. Now let's see the first one. That is two over three. And then negative 3 over 5. So what is the root saying? A plus C, B times D. So our A is 2, and then our B, our C is, um, that is negative 3. And then it says that B times D. Now, what is 2 minus 3? That is just negative 1. Now what is 3 times 5? That is 15. Wow, this is so easy, this is so interesting. Now let's see the second one. We have 1 over 3, and then we have our operator. We have 1 over 5, and then we also have 2 over 3. Now, what does the rule say? The rule combines two elements. So first, these two elements in brackets, that one first. So we consider that as 1 over 5 first, and then 2 over 3. That's what we consider first. That is A plus C, B times D. So our A is 1, our C is 2. All over 5 times 3, and 1 plus 2, that is 3. All over 5 times, um, this is giving us 15. Now 3 will go into 1, 3 will go into 15, 5. So our answer is just 1 over 5. But then we want what? But the main thing that we are looking for is 1 over 3, Operator, that is 1 over 5, we have our operator, 2 over 3, and this is just 1 over 3. Now what is 1 over 5, operator 2 over 3? Now, this is just, that is 1 over 5. That's just 1 over 5. Now after this, we can use the rule now. So what does the rule say? A plus C over B times D. So A is 1, B is also, C is also 1, so 1 plus 1, all over 3 times 5. And what is 1 plus 1? This is just 2, 3 times 5, and this is just 15. So, trivia. Now let's consider this example. Now, we are being given that if m star n is equal to m minus n all over n, where the n should not be equal, because when n is equal to 0, this is going to be undefined. The first one should evaluate 3 star 5 star 2. We know binary operation, binary, we need 2 at a time. So we have to consider 5 star 2 first. But then, first thing for me to do is to put the rule down. What is the rule? m star n equal to m minus n all over n. Now, we want to, the A, we want to find, that is 3, star 5, star 2. So, a rule which combines two elements at a time. So, I need 5, star 2 first. So, 5, star 2 first. Now, this is equal to our M is 5, and then our N is 2. So, that is 5 minus 2, all over 2. Now, what is 5 minus 2? That is 3. So, we have 3, all over 2. So, that is the... Um, first part, now the second part. So we want to find 3 star, that is 5 star 2. Now we have our 3. But we know 5 star 2. What is 5 star 2? 5 star 2 is 3 over 2. So this is just 3 over 2. Now what is the rule? The rule is m minus n all over n. Our m is 3, our n is 3 over 2. So that's what m minus n. So 3 minus 3 all over 2. So this is the numerator divided by the denominator. That is 3 over 2. That is a rule. So just obey the rule. Now here, what is the LCM? Our LCM is 2. We know 3 is over 1. So here we are going to get 6 minus 3 divided by 3 all over 2. That is easy, very, very trivial. And this is just giving us, that is 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. So we have 3 over 2 times 2 over 3. If you have A over B divided by C over D, you reciprocate the second thing. Clearly, this will cancel, this will cancel, this. And our answer is just equal to 1. Very easy. 
Now let's see our B I. Let's see our B I. I want to find the truth set. It says that find the truth set of first on 8 star k equal to 12 star 3. So 8 star k equal to 12 star 3. Don't forget, a rule has been given to us, so we have to use the rule. The rule says that m star n equal to m minus n all over n. m minus n. So here, m minus r n all over n. Our m is 8, so 8 minus k all over k. m minus n all over n equal to, that is 12 minus 3 all over n. Uh, n is 3. So you have 8 minus k all over k. Now what is 12 minus 3? This is 9 all over 3. Now how many times do 3 go into 9? That is 3 times. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell, what do you have? We have that is 8 minus k over k equal to what is 9 over 3? This is just 3. Cross multiply over here. We have 8 minus k equal to 3k. This is just moving over there. We want to find k, we group like terms. So we have 8 equal to 3k plus k. 8 equal to 4k. 3k plus k. This is just 4k. We want to find k, we divide both sides by 4. So 8 over 4. We have 4k over 4. This is cancelling that. This will be 1, this will be 2. Hence our k is just equal to 2. That is very easy. That's very easy. Now let's see the second part. The BII says that k star 8 equal to 12 star 3. So let's write it here. k star 8 equal to 12 star 3. We have to use the rule. What is the rule saying? The rule says that m minus n all over n. So we have to use the rule. So here our um, m is k. So that is k minus 8 all over 8 equal to but we shouldn't forget the question the first one says what truth set truth set so even the first one so our first one the answer is k is such that k is equal to 2 now let's come here using it here using the rule that is 12 minus 3 all over 3 so we have k minus 8 over 8. Now 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 over 3 is 3. So what do you do? We cross multiply. You know every whole number is over 1. So here we can cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we have k minus 8. Equal to that is 8 times 3. 8 times 3. We have k minus 8 equal to 24. We want to find k. So our k is just 24 plus 8, and this is 32. But the question says truth set. So our solution set, we have k is such that k is equal to 32. That is very trivial. Now let's consider this example. Given that a star b equals a plus 2b all over 3 for all a, b, and m of r, we should find the value of m if that is, is you we find the values of m if 3 star m star 4 is equal to 3. Now, first we have to put the rule down. What is the rule? a star b. This is a plus 2b all over 3. This is the rule. Now, binary, we need two things at a time. It's a rule which combines two elements at a time. So m star 4 first. So our m star 4. Using the rule. So our A is M, our B is 4. So M plus 2, we have 4 all over 3. And this is just M plus 8. 2 times 4 is giving us 8 all over 3. But then we've been given 3 star M star 4 is equal to 3. This is what we have been given. Now, uh, so we have our 3 here. Now, what is m star 4? m star 4 is m plus 8 all over 3. And this is equal to 3. This is what we have over here. Now, we can use the rule here. So, we have two things at a time. Because binary operation is a rule which combines two elements. So first, we consider the m star 4. 
and then this m star 4 is this so here we have one term another term so two elements we have to use our rule now what is the rule saying a plus 2b all over 3 so using this our a is 3 so a plus 3 plus 2b now what is our b our b in this case is m plus 8 all over 3 so m plus 8 all over 3 all over 3 that is um, the b and then all over 3 so everything everything over 3 and this is equal to 3 this is what we are being given this is what we are being given so you should be find the value not values find the value now from here what do we do we cross multiply we know that this is over 1 so you can cross multiply so when you cross multiply you get 3 plus 2 we have m plus 8 all over 3 equal to 9 3 times 3 giving us 9 now we know that every whole number is a 1 so we have 2 over 1 and when you are multiplying numerator times numerator denominator times denominator so this is nothing but 3 plus now this one will be 2m plus 16 over 3 equal to 9 we use the distributive property over here a times b plus c that will be a b plus a c so 2 times m 2 m 2 times 8 we have 16 now from here we multiply through with the lcm what is the lcm lcm is 3 so multiply each term by 3 so we have 3 times 3 plus 3 we have 2 m plus 16 over 3 equal to 9 times 3 now this 3 here will cancel the 3 over here now 3 times 3 we have 9 so we have 2 m plus 16 at a 9 times 3, this is giving us, that is 27. Now, what is 9 plus 16? So, you have 25 plus 2m equal to 27. We want to find m. So, 2m equal to 27 minus 25. Now, what is 27 minus 25? This is 2. So, you have 2m equal to, we want to find m, so we divide both sides by 2. So, you have 2m over 2 equal to 2 over 2 we want to find m so this will cancel this this will be a 1 this will be a 1 so m is nothing but 1 very easy very trivial don't forget to get a copy of the books that you are seeing on the screen they are available call the numbers below for a copy for yourself now let's consider this example this is the vector 2019 question number 4 b a band operation delta is defined on a set of real numbers by R by this. So this is the rule given to us. So first, we have to put the rule down. So P delta Q. This is 2 P minus Q minus we have 1 over P plus 1 over Q. So this is the rule given to us. We have been told to evaluate 1 over 2 delta negative 1 over 4. Now, what is our P? P is 1 over 2. Our Q is negative 1 over 4. So wherever we see P, we put 1 over 2 there. Our Q is negative 1 over 4. Now put it in bracket because of the negative. Now minus P, 1 over P. 1 over P, that is 1 over 2 plus 1 over Q, which is our Q, that is negative 1 over 4. Now we have 2, negative and negative positive. So you have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Now let's see negative. Now 1 over 1 over 2, there's just 2. And then this is 1 over negative 1 over 2. So the negative will change the positive. So that will be negative 4. Now board mass bracket first. Now 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. What is the LCM? LCM is 4. 2 going to 4, 2 times times 1, 2. And then 4 will go into 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1. So minus what do you have here? Negative 2. 2 minus 2, that is negative 2. Now, let's see. So here we have 2 times 2 plus 1, 3. So we have 3 over 4. Negative times negative, positive. So we have positive 2. 2 go into 4, 2 times. So we have 3 over 2 plus um, 2. Now, this, what is the LCM? The LCM is 2 
we know over one once we have three we have four so this is giving us seven over two now how many times will two go into seven so that's just um two three six so we have three whole number one over two that's six plus one that's seven so so easy so trivial when you look at the question you might think that it's something that is difficult no it's not difficult when the substitute becomes very very easy not deck 2019 now let's consider another pass question a binary operation is defined on a set r of random numbers by a operator b equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square the first one is we should find two or three um, operator 3 over 4. So first, we have to put the rule down. The rule is A operator B. That is A square minus 2AB plus B square. That's it. Now the first one, we have 2 over 3 operator 3 over 4. So in this case, our A is 2 over 3, then our B is 3 over 4. So a square 2 over 3 square minus 2ab our a is 2 over 3 our b is 3 over 4 then plus b square that is 3 over 4 all square so a square minus 2ab plus b square that is very very easy now we know from indices that if you have a over b all to the power n, this is a n b n from indices. So here 2 over 3 all square, that would just be that is 4 over 9 because 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. Minus. Now let's see 2 times 2, that is 4. And this will cancel the 4. So this 2 times 2 will cancel the 4 here. This 3 will cancel this. So we have 1 and then plus now let's see 3 square is 9 so that's 9 all over 16 4 square is 16 so 4 over 9 minus 1 plus 9 over 16 this is just 1 all over 1 out of 144 very very trivial now let's see the second one the second question says that we should find r such that so 2 operator negative 5 equal to root r. In this case, what is our a? Our a is 2, our b is negative 5. So using the rule, using the rule, so this is just, that is, you know, a square. So a square minus 2ab, our b is negative 5 plus b square, that is negative 5, all square equal to root r. Now, what is 4? 2 square, 2 square is 4. Now negative and negative, that's positive. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 5, 20. Now negative 5 square, this is just 25 equal to root R. 4 plus 20 plus 25, and this is just 49 equal to root R. We want to find R, so we have to square both sides. So we have 49 square equal to root r square. Now what is 49 square? This is just 2,401. And then the square comes to the square root. So our r is equal to 2,401. Now let's also consider the third one. The third one says that we have x plus 1 operator x all over x. So we know our rule is a operator, so the third one, a operator b is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we want to find x plus 1 operator um, x all over x. So x plus 1 operator x, this will be, that is, x plus 1 is our a. So x plus 1 square minus 2ab. That is our a, x plus 1, our b is x, and then plus x square all over 
x. So we have to simplify this. Now this is of the form a plus b all square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So expanding this, this is just x square plus 2x plus 1. Now this will be 2x, 2 times x, that will be 2x. So 2x times x here, so because of the negative, negative 2x squared. Now 2x times 1, and it's negative, so negative 2x plus x squared all over x. Very, very trivial and interesting. Now we have x squared plus x squared, that is 2x squared. So we have 2x squared, that's x squared plus x squared. We have minus 2x squared, 2 over here. What do we have? Plus 2x minus 2x and then plus the 1 over here, all over x. Now, what is 2x squared minus 2x squared? That is 0. What is 2x minus 2x? That is 0 plus 1. So our final answer is just 1 all over x. This is a past question. So easy, so trivial. Don't forget to get a copy of the books that you are seeing on the screen. It will give you a firm foundation in math. Now let's consider this example. Given that p star q is equal to p squared plus q squared plus p q and p star p plus 1 is equal to 61, we are being told to find the value of p. Such a trivial question. Now we've been given the rule p star q to be equal to p squared plus q squared plus p q. Now we have been told that p star p plus 1 is equal to 61. So let's find our p star p plus 1. Now in this case, what is our p? Our p is p, but then our q is p plus 1. So let's use the rule. So that is p square r q p plus 1 square plus p r q p plus 1. Now this is of the form a plus b all to the part, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Very easy. So you have p square here. But then this is what? p square plus 2p plus 1. Now this time this, that is p square, p times 1, that is p. Now we have p square, p square, p square, and this is just 3p square. Now 2p plus p, that is 3p, that is 3p, because 2p plus p, that's 3p. And then we have plus 1. This is just p star p plus 1. Now what is p star p plus 1? p plus p star p plus 1 is equal to 61. So in place of this, that is just 61. So easy. What can we see here? We can see a quadratic equation and we have to put it in standard form. That is a square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So this has to go to this side. So we have 3p square plus 3p plus 1 minus 61. This is crossing negative equal to 0. So you have 3p square plus 3p minus 60 equals 0. 1 minus 61, that is negative 60. We want to find um, p. This quadratic equation, hence we can reduce it. We can divide through by 3 and reduce it. So let's divide by 3. So you get p square plus p minus 20 equal to 0. So we have a quadratic equation over here. Now this quadratic equation, we want to solve it. So we have to factorize and use the null factor principle to find the value of p. Two numbers when you multiply, you get negative 20. When you add, you get 1. So that will be what? 5 and negative 4. So from here, we have, that is 5p squared no, no, no. So the factors are five. The factors are five and negative four. So we have p square plus five p minus four p minus twenty equal to zero. Now this and this clearly the first two p is common. So p we have p plus 5, p plus 5, minus 4, p plus 5, and this is just equal to 0. p plus 5, p plus 5 is common, factorize p plus 5 out. What is left here? p minus 4 equal to 0. 
So either the first one, p plus 5, either the first one is 0, or p minus 4 equals to 0. Hence, our p is negative 5, or our p is equal to 4. Very, very easy, very trivial. Don't forget to get a copy of the books that you are seeing on the screen. It comes with a CD, and to give a firm foundation in math. Now, let's consider this example. Given that a star b equals a over b plus b over a, and if root x plus 1 star root x minus 1 equal to 4, you should find the value of x. This is a very, very simple question. So first, put down the root. What is the root saying? a star b, this is just a over b plus b all over a. This is what the root is saying. What is our a? Our a is root x plus 1. What is our b? Root x minus 1. Equal to, so uh, this is our a, our b. Wherever you see a, you put the wherever you see b, you put the b there. So simple. So our a, which is root x plus 1 all over our b. What is our b? That is root x minus 1 plus b over a, which is root x minus 1 all over root x plus 1. Now, what is root x plus 1 star root x minus 1 equal to? We have been to this equal to 4. So from here, this is just implies we have root x plus 1 all over root x minus 1 plus root x minus 1 all over root x plus 1. This is equal to 4. Now, what are we supposed to do? What is the LCM? The LCM is root x minus 1, root x plus 1. So if you like, you can multiply it with the LCM or we can rationalize each of them. So we multiply it through with the um, LCM. I'm choosing to be multiplying through with the LCM, which is root x minus 1, root x plus 1. So our first term over here, which is over here, so we have root x minus 1, root x plus 1 times we have root x plus 1 all over root x minus 1 plus we have root x minus 1 root x plus 1 then times root x minus 1 all over root x plus 1 and this is just equal to 4. Now let's see root x minus 1 will cancel root x minus 1 root x plus 1 will cancel root x plus 1. But then, don't forget that on the right-hand side, too, we have to multiply through with root x plus 1, root x minus 1. The LCM, we also have to multiply through with the LCM. So, clearly, this will, this will cancel that. Okay, so what do you have? Our next step, we have, that is, root x plus 1, root x plus 1. Why? This has cancelled this, so this and this. That's what we have here. Now, root x plus 1 with x plus 1 has cancelled, so we have this and that. So, uh, root x plus 1. Oh, that is root x minus 1. Root x minus 1. Over here, because this has cancelled, so this and this is there. And then we have equal to 4. We have root x plus 1 root x minus 1. Now, if you have a times a, that is a to the power 2. So here, this and this, they are the same multiplying. So we just have root x plus 1 all squared. And this, this is the same multiplying. We have root x minus 1 all squared equal to 4. Now, let's see root x plus 1, root x minus 1. It is of the form that is a squared minus b squared, which is a minus b, a plus b, difference of two squares. So if you have this, just pick the negative with square both side over here. So this just, that is root x all squared minus one square. So this is the same as that. Now this is the form a plus b all squared, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So expanding this, that is root x all squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then here, 
that is root x all square minus 2 a b plus b square equal to 4. Now what is root x square? That is x minus 1. 1 square is the same also. That and this will cancel this. So this will give us that is x because 2 will cancel the square root plus 2 root x plus 1 plus x. Now minus 2 root x plus 1. Equal to now 4 times x, this is just 4x minus 4. We are using the distributive property to expand over there. Now, clearly, what can we see? This and that is cancelling out. Now, x plus x, this is giving us 2x. 1 plus 1, this is giving us 2 equal to 4x minus 4. We want to find x with group like terms. So, to this negative will come here. So, we have 2 plus 4 equal to 4x this will move there minus 2x now 2 plus 4 that is 6 equal to 2x we want to find x so we divide both sides by 2 so 6 over 2 2x all over 2 now this will cancel this this will be a 1 this will be a 3 so you have our x to be equal to 3 so trivial from the question, you might think that it is difficult, but when you try, when you make an attempt, you apply all the principles and then the rules of algebra, it becomes so, so trivial. Don't forget to get a copy of the books that you see on the screen to give you a firm foundation in mass. Don't forget, no pain, no gain. Now let's consider this example. Two binary operations, so star and then um, this one are defined as follows. P star k is 1 over p plus 1 over q, and then p operator k is 1 over p minus 1 over q, where p is not equal to 0, q is not also not equal to 0. If p is 3 over 5, k is 1 over 3, you're being told to evaluate p star q, and then i, i, p star q over p operator q. So first, let's write the um, first one. So a, i, we want to find that is p star k, but p star k is 1 over p plus 1 over k. Now what is our p? 3 over 5, k is 1 over, so we have 3 over 5, 1 over 3. So this is 1 over p. What is our p? Our p is just 3 over 5 plus 1 over q. What is our q? 1 over 3. So this is just 5 over 3. Now we have 1 over 1 over 3 and this is just 3. So here what is the LCM? Our LCM is 3. 3 going to 3 once times that so we have 5. But this is over 1. So we have 9 and this is just 14 over 3. Now let's see the AII. We have been told to um, find that is P star K all over P and then the operator Q. Now we know P star Q, but we don't know P um, plus the Q, okay? So, but we have P plus Q. This is 1 over P minus 1 over Q. That is the rule that has been given to us. Now, hence, if you have, that is 3, P is 3 over 5, our Q is 1, over 3. So this is just 1 over our P, which is 3, over 5, minus 1 over Q, which is 1 over 3. And this is just 1 over 3 over 5, this is just 5 over 3, minus 3, minus 3. Now, what is 5 over 3 minus 3? Um, okay, let me write here, 5 over 3 minus 3. What is the LCM? Our uh, LCM is 3. Now 3 will go into 3. That is uh, 1, so times 5, 5. This 1, 3, you have 9. So this is just negative 4 over 3. This is negative 4 over 3. Now, what are we looking for? P star Q. Therefore, our P star Q all over P plus Q. Now, P star Q give us 14 over 3. Now, what is um, P plus Q? 
So divided by P plus Q, that is negative 4 over 3, negative 4 all over 3. Now division will change what? Multiplication. So you have 14 over 3 times 3 all over negative 4. This will cancel this. Now 2 go into 4, 2 times 2 will go into 14, 7 times. So you have negative 7 all over. How many times 2 go into 7? That is 3 times. So 3 over number 1 over 2. This is very, very easy.